Hey everyone, it's Ricky from Ricky's Pretties, and today I have a video for you. I'm going to be decorating a candle base that I got at Dollar Tree, and so this was a dollar twenty-five, and I've also got a candle holder that I got at Hobby Lobby for fifty percent off. I think this was like seven ninety-nine, so it would have cost me like four dollars. And I did go ahead and put some um, felt on the bottom of this just to keep it from, you know, it was very, very slippery and slidey around on the, on the base that I'm going to be placing it on. So I just wanted to give it a little bit of cushion and also um, to help it keep from sliding around so much. Um, so I put some felt on the bottom of this, just cut out a square and glued it to the bottom is all I did. And then I have... Um, two different sheets of rice paper from Stamperia. And um, I got these sheets from a Facebook group called Notions of Beauty. I will link the um, group in the description box below if you want to join. That way you'll have the link. And then I have some bling items. Um... I've got, I've got some little bling, some little bits of lace, um, lace applique butterfly, lace applique. I got these things from, um, I'm sorry if I was out of frame, but I've got these things that I'm going to be using from Kiki Sale, and I'm going to go ahead and link that um, group as well in the description box below. I do get a lot of my supplies from both of these places. So this way you'll be able to know where to go to find the things that I have here. Um, another good place to look for things like this would be Amazon or Etsy and sometimes even eBay. And then this is another thing that I got from Notions of Beauty. This is actually lace, but you can cut this up into smaller pieces and use these as little appliques which is what I'm doing for this project here so but I just wanted to let you know this comes you know in a length of lace but you can either use this as one strand or you can cut it up I've got a few other little bits and bobs some little pieces of paper doily that I got at Dollar Tree and then tea stained for another project I have some fine ultra fine glitter now it's extra fine, that's what it's called. Champagne Gold, I got this at Walmart. And I've got some set out in a dish over here. I have some Mod Podge set out in a little dish that I'm going to be using. I'm also going to be using some uh, gloss water-based um, interior exterior varnish that I get at Hobby Lobby. And I also got this Doc Holiday rub. at uh, This is Fingertip Burnished Gold is what this is called. I got this at Hobby Lobby too, but I'm not sure if they carry it anymore. I haven't actually been in the store to look for it because um, I'm not out of it, but I can't find it on their website. But if you cannot find this, um, there's some that comes in a tube. There's different kinds on Amazon that will work just as well. Just look for, um, you know, a rub, like a gold rub, an antique gold or bronze, anything like that will work um, the same as this. And then, of course, I've got tools out. I've got a pair of scissors in case I need it. I have a brush that I'm going to be using for the decoupage. And I have a little, just a little card that I'm going to use to smooth the paper down with. And um, I have some E6000. And I've got a glue gun over here that I'm going to be plugging in later. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm just going to move some of these things out of the way. I do have um, a little uh, glass of water here so that I can rinse my brush. We'll be using this bling later, so I'm just going to set it aside. I'm just going to grab it and move it away. Anything I'm not going to be using right this minute, I'm just going to set aside. And... I'm going to be using this piece. I'm going to be taking pieces out of this for the candle holder. So I'm going to set it aside for right in this second. Because we're going to go ahead and do our base first. 
here and I'm not going to reverse decoupage this because it's got the little, the little rubber things on the bottom of it and I want to cover this whole piece. So I'm going to be doing it right side up just like so. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. And my plan is to stick it down and then cut it. I'm not going to cut it first. It may or may not work like that, but that's the plan. Alright, so let's go ahead and coat our glass. And I have gone ahead and wiped this down with some alcohol first prior to starting the video. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this liberally to I'm going to go ahead and lay this down over it. I'm not pressing extremely hard with this, I just want to get it laid down good. those corners so I can tell where my edge is. Now I'm just going to go over the top of it. And I'm going to work from the center out. And there is our candle their base and I'm just going to set that aside to dry for now and I'm going to start tearing out designs for what I want to go on the candle holder That just almost fits. And I really like that one. So I think I'm just going to kind of, well, let me see. That one's pretty too, but I really like this one better. So I think I'm just going to kind of tear this one down a little bit. Take a little section of that blue thing off of there, whatever that is, and take this little whatever that is off of there. Nobody's going to miss it. And that little edge right there, and maybe that'll be good enough to fit here. And I think it will. I'm not really concerned if it overlaps a little bit. That I don't really think is going to matter that much. I might just try to tear a little bit off of it. Okay, that one's good to go. And I know these will fit on here, so. We can do that one. I might 
have to tear that one down just a hair, some of this white, to get off of that. That'll fit too. Let's get our bits out of the way here. And then this one I might have to tear down another notch too. Let's see. I'll just tear this blue thing down a smidge. I don't really want to lose that part of the flower, so I'll just tear this down a little bit. And that'll work. We'll go ahead and cut the little fuzzy edges off of there. Okay, we'll set that aside and we'll use that on something else. Another project at some point. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start decoupaging our designs onto our candle holder. Dry that off a bit. Let's get that aside. Get my card out. I really liked this candle holder. I thought it was pretty. I may try this both ways. I thought I would just put it on the glass. Because I'm going to add a little bit of glitter to this also. It was just reminding me I forgot to get the glitter out. <laughs> but we will. Go ahead and stick that down. glitter from over here. I'm going to wait and do the glitter last. So I might move it out of the way so I don't get Mod Podge in it. that one. So I want to kind of go for a frosty appearance on this glass. That's my thinking anyway. And then while that one's a little wet, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some glitter around. Just like so. Not necessarily all over the flower part, but around it. Now this I just had a chance to dry, so I'm going to go ahead and add some more.
Okay, now I'm going to set this aside and let it dry, and I'm going to let our um, tray dry as well, our little candle base, and then once it gets all dry, we'll come back and we'll do the next step, okay? I'll see y'all in a little bit. 